Ted, let's look into these rampant stories of Uyghur forced labor. According to Max Blumenthal at the Gray Zone, the first claims of forced labor came from this Associated Press article in December 2018. One day later, in a coordinated effort, the Worker Rights Consortium put out a press release calling for the athletic company Badger to stop using forced labor in Xinjiang province. And after getting badgered, Badger cave to the pressure. So where did the AP get their info? As the gray zone points out, most of it came from the Australian Strategic Policy Institute, ASPI. This is a right-wing think tank funded by, wait for it, the US State Department, the Australian Defense Department, and weapons contractors. Sounds like an unbiased view to me. ASPI pumps out an endless stream of baseless anti-China diarrhea. So after the Associated Press does their story, the New York Times and the Financial Times follow up with their own stories of China's forced labor. Where do they get their info? Mostly from, wait for it, the Australian Strategic Policy Institute. Crikey! So as you can see from the chart, the pile of shit, it, it, it flows downhill like mud in a mudslide. Except instead of mud, it's shit. And the shit slide filters down to the New York Times and the Financial Times, and then it keeps going down, uh, uh, to, 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 you know, down the hill to the cable news channels. Uh, another place the AP got some of their info was from a Uyghur exile named Rushan Abbas, who works for an outfit funded by, wait for it, the U.S. government. Her bio has also bragged about working for multiple U.S. government agencies. So after the poop was successfully spread across all the news outlets, just like... <laughs> Like that.